So from the Junior Yamaha final, we move on to the Senior Yamaha Light final. Has anyone got anything for Alex Geary? He's pretty much dominated the weekend, had a little bobble in the third heat with a fourth place finish. But he's only been beaten once over the weekend here in Yamaha Light. A very, very good field. Headed by the current national champion, Alex Geary out of the Taranaki Kart Club. Kappelman slotted into second. He got a good start. So I don't think there'll be a lot of difference between the top five or six here for this final. But those second and back cannot afford to let Alex Geary get away in the early laps. He'll get out, do the hard work early, settle into a pace, and wait for someone to challenge him. I know that'll be his intention. He's a great young driver. He is not lacking for horsepower. Sensational win at the New Zealand Sprint Championships at Palmerston North just over a year ago. Kappelman, Gorham, John Van Bommel, second, third, and fourth in the early laps here. Should be Phil Watkins just in behind this trio. So you can see numerous drivers just reaching down to the engine and on the front face of the engine is the carburetor. There's two tuning jets on top of that carburetor. They'll be feeding fuel and as John Van Bommel gets a big piece of curve, just picks up the car. So the longest race of the weekend, the final of the Senior Yamaha Light Class, sponsored by the Carlton Party Hire Company. Here in Wellington, there's the aid of Phil Watkins. So he's just in behind the leading group. Geary's already starting to get away. Phil Watkins, a veteran of kart sport in New Zealand. You can never count him out of title contention at any event around the country. James Gorham, a relatively new name to kart sport. Ryan Kappelman, the Kappelman brothers. Familiar names down here in Wellington at the CRC Raceway. John Van Bommel, another up-and-comer, racing out of the Bay of Plenty Kart Club. Fagans Valley, about halfway between Mount Monganui and Te Puki. As we said in the early laps, this group cannot all afford to let Alex Geary get away, and they've done that. Geary is about two seconds up the track. Gorham's got by Kappelman for the second position, needs to get his head down, try and close that gap to Geary. And so often in these instances, if this group of drivers can work together, they may be able to get towards the front. But we know Gary's got great pace. He's very, very quick. And that's the reason why he's got the yellow number one number plate on the side of the arrow chassis. John Van Bommel still in touch here. Second, third, and fourth. Phil Watkins not too far behind in fifth. Maximum RPM, depending on the gearing up the hill. It's tight for the miners, but Geary dominating out in front. John Van Bommel trying to find a way past Kappelman. Gorham and Kappelman are just a little bit quicker at a couple of different parts of the track. John Van Bommel within a cart length, but he's still staying in touch as Geary continues to drive away out in front. Looking at the lap times, Geary's two tenths of a second quicker than anyone else on track. 26 is Daniel Ryan. He'll be in a solid sixth position. As Phil Watkins now, he's on the scene. He's got around Kappelman and Gorham and 
John Van Bommel. So Phil Watkins was running fifth. He's picked off second, third and fourth and now chases down Alex Gary. But Gary is now out to four or five seconds up the track. And I think these guys are just going to flat run out of laps here in the final for Yamaha Light, sponsored by, sponsored by Carlton Party Hire Wellington. I said in the early laps, don't discount Phil Watkins. He's done an incredible amount of laps around Kaitoku Raceway. As Alex Geary, a dominant victory in Yamaha Light. He takes the chequered flag and he was nearly seven seconds clear of the next group, headed by Watkins, Gorham and Kappelman. So Alex Geary from the Taranaki Car Club taking out the final of Yamaha Light. Then it's three Wellington drivers, Watkins, Gorham and Kappen went ahead of Bay of Plenty's John Van Bommel and Daniel Ryan. Alex, it's really uh, right from the start. You dictated the race. Yeah, I got another good start, thankfully, my only two of the good uh, weekend and um, I tried to pull a gap straight away and um, just kept on pushing to the end trying to get the fastest lap time. Phil, uh, good race here for second and third, I guess Alex was too far down the track. Yeah, he was supremely fast all weekend and um, just didn't have an answer for him, so pretty happy to get second. But from your point of view, it would have been enjoyable with four of you dicing for second place. Yeah, it's um, always good to be dicing rather than languishing on your own, so it was an exciting race and I'm glad to be part of it. James, that was a pretty exciting race for second, third and fourth. You were right in the middle of it. Yeah, it was good. It was good. Um, we finally got uh, a decent setup. Um, we struggled all day yesterday, um, but no, it was good fun, you know, racing with Ryan and Phil. And um, good result, yeah, to be on the podium.